Hello everyone, welcome to T4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use extends keyword in trick template files. So extends is basically helps you to inherit existing trick file into your custom module or custom theme or wherever you want. So I'm going to show you how we can do that. So before that, uh, so if you see the site, this is basic Drupal 10 site and we, here we have a menu, account menu. So I'm going to use this menu for trick file and I'm going to use extend to showcase how the extend is working for this particular block. Okay, so this is a back block. If you inspect here, So if you see here, this particular block is coming from the Olivero theme. So if you go to appearance, and here I am using a custom Olivero theme. It's a custom theme which I created. So this theme is extending Olivero theme. So since it is extending Olivero theme, the trick file is coming from Olivero theme. So now we are going to override this. Uh, before that, I will show you the theme. So this is my custom theme. And here you can see uh, the base theme is Olivero. So that's why the trick template is getting loaded from the Olivero theme, okay? And then next, uh, if you see here, so here we have some set of suggestions, right? Now we are going to override this particular block. So I'm, I, have, I have to select any one name from this list already uh, the particular block is coming from this file block iphone iphone secondary iphone menu dot html dot pick so i should select any name which is above this so above this i should not select anything which is below because it will not work it will work based upon the weight so i have to select something which is already up in upper of that particular uh trick file so i'm going to edit this and I'm going to copy this file name. And in the uh, custom theme, so this is my custom theme. In this custom theme, I have a template folder. In this folder, I have a file. So I'm just going to keep that name for that file, which I copied. So you can see a uh, block iPhone iPhone secondary menu, iPhone iPhone ID, iPhone, iPhone custom, Olivero account menu, the same name I have created. So here we can extend any tweak file uh, from any module or from any theme. Okay, so now you can do it in any way. So first I will show you how to extend any block from the modules. Okay, so first what you have to do. So in this file, what I'm doing, I'm just going to extend the block.html.tweak file, which is coming from the core block module, not from the Olivero templates so i am just rendering the core modules block file so which means this one so core modules block templates this block.html file so open this and here i will give some text Core block. Okay. So now I added this. Now let me go here and uh, clear the uh, render cache. So once I clear, you can see the core block is coming. So which means the block is particularly loading from the uh, core theme. Okay. So here, but when you see here, uh, not this one, the below one. But when you see here, it will show you that the particular block is coming from custom Olivero. Yeah, because the template file which we created is under the custom Olivero. But inside that particular file, we are just extending the code block.html. So this one. That's why it is printing like this. So once uh, this is how you have to extend any tweak file from any modules. And next, I'm going to show you how you can do for any themes. So let me go to Olivero theme core themes, Olivero template. So inside this, inside block, we have this file. So to do the uh, extend with the Olivero, so what you have to do instead of at block mod the module name, so you have to give 
Olivero. And then you have to mention the path. So it's under template, it's inside the block folder. So I just given the block folder and block.html. And let me open this file. And here, let me add a text here. So it says it is loading from the Olivero team. Olivero block. So now let me go there and clear the cache again. So are you able to see now the block is coming from the Olivero team? Okay. So uh, this is how you can extend any tweak file from a module or from a theme. Okay. And next one. So let me close one from the block. Okay, so now we have here uh, blog.html.pick file from the Olivero theme. Now you can alter the particular uh, block inside this file by using the extend keyword and also you can change the variable value, whatever you have in this file by using this extend keyword. So first, let me show you the title prefix. So when you see block.html where you have a variable called title prefix. So I am just overriding that uh, variable value in my extended file like title prefix is 1, 2, 3, 4. So in a blog, it should print 1, 2, 3, 4. So are you able to see that title prefix 1, 2, 3, 4 is getting rendered? And then next one, so if you see here, here for the complete wrapper of div, you have some set of classes, right? So contextual, region, block, block system, block, I find the block ID. So all those are coming from here, attributes.add classes. So these are the classes which is getting added in the block. So now I am going to add a new class to the div. So to do that, so first time, defining a class variable. So where I'm mentioning a single class that is 5, 6, 7, 8. And then what I'm doing for attribute variable. So attribute variable in the sense, so this attributes variable. For this variable, I'm just overriding the variable by adding the class, not overriding, I'm just adding a new class here that is 5, 6, 7, 8 with the attributes variable. So once I done this, if you go here and uh, I mean, there in render cache. And then, so if you see here, you can see our new class is added, five, six, seven, eight. So this is how you can add new class to your existing uh, attributes, whatever you are having. You can extend anything or you can add new, new uh, classes or whatever attribute if you want, you can add all those. And then next block. So we are going to uh, override this particular complete block content. So what it is getting print. So to do that. So here you have to give content. So it's not mandatory that you should always give content. Whatever name the parent uh, quick file contain, the same name you have to give so that the particular block will be overrided. Here the block name is content. So I'm just mentioning the same content here. And then now let me again clear the render cache. So you can see the menu gone and only check check text is coming. That is coming from here. And if this particular quick file contain the block name as test. Okay. So if it has like this, and now you are going to clear the cache again what will happen so it will print the menu all the menu my account example settings logout but it will not print the uh, content which you overrided because the parent doesn't have any content okay so to do that you have to give the same name list and again go there and clear the another cache you can disable it in setting.php so you can see now the test block is completely overrated. So uh, this is the way you can use extend keyword in uh, Drupal.
quick files and that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye